name's Chuck DeCoast. I'm the wildlife control officer for the 12 wing Shearwater. And what I do is uh, I use falconry and a variety of techniques to scare the birds on the other animals off of the airfield to keep the helicopters safe. I have two falcons and two hawks that I bring around with me to do work. Now Val here, she's a, a jur falcon. She's one of uh, a couple of species of birds I have here. By and large, what we do is we train the species that come to this airfield. We teach them that when they're here, they're in a predator-rich environment. Every time I see crows or any other form of birds, I pop a predator in the air. So that way these prey species have a false perception of really increased predation within an area. I'm using the bird's own natural instincts to work against them. First thing I want you guys to notice is those massive eyes she's got. I get asked all the time, how much better does a falcon see than a human? They witness the world differently than we do. Now in a place like Shearwater here, you've got a lot of habitat around here, you've got a lot of residential areas, you've got a lot of lawns, you've got a lot of places for these crows and shorebirds to go to find food. They're like Mother Nature's sprinters, they climb way up in the sky and then they cache that energy in, they tuck their wings in into a high speed dive called a stoop. The word raptor actually comes from the word to seize, or from the Latin word repere, which means to seize or to grasp or to take by force. I use jur falcons, peregrine falcons, and hawks. They look scary, I put them in the sky, and everything leaves. These guys literally are the wings of the fleet. 